Millions of years ago, before written history, the Earth was inhabited by magnificent creatures. The dinosaurs were the most well-known of these extinct creatures. Countless movies have been created on these magnificent creatures. However, there were many other strange and amazing animals over the different episodes of our world's history. It was during this time period, prior to mankind's dominance, that life on Earth underwent a great deal of evolution. Hello, and welcome to another video on Wildest Nature. In this video, you will be shocked at some of the most bizarre creatures that once existed. Before we begin, kindly like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell icon so that you do not miss the latest video updates. So let's get right to it. The first on our list is the Megatherium. This brute was quite a big animal, as its name indicates. An adult standing on its hind legs may reach a height of 20 feet. Megatherium was originally discovered in Argentina in 1788 on the Luján River's bank. The holotype specimen was subsequently sent to Spain the next year, where it was discovered by paleontologist Georges Cuvier, who was the first to identify Megatherium as a sloth using comparative anatomy. Megatherium went extinct approximately 12,000 years ago during the Quaternary Extinction Event. The extinction dates from the arrival of Europeans in the Americas and a kill site where a megatherium was slain and butchered has been discovered, suggesting that hunting may have been the cause of its demise. Megatherium was once thought to be a sluggish tree ripper. However, current research suggests that its massive claws may have been utilized for stabbing and murdering. If the giant sloth's claws were designed for this function, it would make the biggest predator on the South American plains. The next creature is the Thylacosmilus that resembles a saber-toothed tiger in appearance. Thylacosmilus looked and behaved like nothing alive today. It uses its powerful forearms to secure and immobilize large prey before piercing the saber teeth into the windpipe or major arteries of the neck. The animal was also a marsupial with a pouch of skin in which it carries its newborn offspring for a while. Kangaroos and opossums are examples of modern marsupials. Thylacosmilus, who lived in the late tertiary era, maintained strong, long-lasting familial ties. Thylacosmilus remains have been discovered mostly in the provinces of Catamarca, Entre Ros, and La Pampa in northern Argentina. Thylacosmilus vanished two to three million years ago, but saber-toothed cats did not appear in South America until 500,000 years ago. Next comes the Tzeta Motherium. It has a single large cylindrical horn on top of its head, exactly in the middle. It was right close to another, much smaller horn. Its bigger horn is said to have served as a show to attract a counterpart of the opposing gender. At first look, this creature appears to be similar to the unicorn, a mythological beast. Cytomotherium existed in the late tertiary and resembled today's muskox in appearance. It has a body form that resembles that of an ox. Cytomotherium, like many of its Miocene contemporaries, was a grazing species that thrived on the Mongolian grasslands. Next on the list is the Andrusarchus. The Andrusarchus was a large carnivorous animal. It was an extinct mammal genus that existed in what is now Inner Mongolia, China, during the Middle Eocene period. In most cases, just one species is recognized. Andrusarchus mongoliensis has a basal length of 80 centimeters, with a large snout accounting for 60% of that measurement. The snout sets the orbits of the eyes low and far apart, the sagittal crest is short, and the mandible articulation is shallow. Andrusarchus mongoliensis, like entelodonts, has a complete placental tooth formula with three incisors, one canine, four premolars, and three molars on each side of the jaws. The incisors are semicircular, the second and third premolars are elongated and single cusped, the molar crowns are extensively wrinkled, and the first and second molars are considerably more heavily worn than the preceding and succeeding teeth. The next creature is Leopleurodon. There was an amazing saurian in the waters during the Great Age of Reptiles when dinosaurs dominated the land. Leopleurodon, a 23-foot-long marine reptile that roamed the Jurassic Seas more than 145 million years ago, was one of the biggest. While many ichthyosaurs had tiny heads and long necks, Leopleurodon belonged to a subgroup that had huge heads and short necks, allowing the carnivore to pursue massive prey. It would have been able to kill anything it seized between its jaws with its four-inch fangs and was capable of biting with great force. Another sea creature on our list is the Jackalopterus renaniae, also known as the sea scorpion. 
With a length of 2.5 meters, this giant sea scorpion is claimed to be the world's biggest arthropod. They were more likely to be found in lakes and rivers than in the ocean. Jackalopterus renaniae was a 390 million year old creature that spent its days cutting up fish. It was named after its spiked claw measuring 46 centimeters discovered in a quarry near Prum, Germany in 2008. The finding adds to the growing body of evidence suggesting arthropods were formerly much bigger. No one knows why prehistoric creepy-crawlies grew to such enormous proportions. Some argue that the explanation may be found in the atmosphere, which once held more oxygen than it does now. Others point to the lack of strong predators like fish. The next bizarre animal is the Metoposaurus, giant carnivorous amphibians that look like gigantic salamanders formerly roamed the Earth. During the global extinction 201 million years ago, the majority of the species were wiped off. Many backboned creatures, especially big amphibians, were killed off by this catastrophe, leaving the field clear for dinosaurs to take over. It was two meters in length and had a large flat head resembling a toilet seat with hundreds of sharp teeth. Its tiny, flimsy limbs implies it didn't spend much time on land. It was a forerunner of today's amphibians, such as frogs and newts. It was only remotely related to today's salamanders. Next on our list is the Ichthyostega. The Ichthyostega was an amphibian-like animal that lived in the late Devonian era and was one of the oldest known. This creature had the head and tail of a fish and in order to reproduce, it needed to return to the water. The limbs were the distinguishing characteristic of Ichthyostega and other lobe-finned fish. The fins of Ichthyostega were joined and there were bones in the legs and toes. The foot of Ichthyostega was unusual by today's standards. It had eight toes on each foot. Ichthyostega was a big mammal with a wide build and a length of around 1.5 meters. The skull was flat with massive labyrinthodont teeth and dorsally positioned eyes. The gills were covered by an operculum created by the rear edge of the skull. The spiracle was hidden beneath each eye in an otic notch. Next on our list is the Charovipteryx. Charovipteryx is thought to be an ancestor of the pterosaurs, which are flying reptiles. It existed in the early Triassic period, approximately 240 million years ago, and was not recognized as a genuine pterosaur. It's a one-of-a-kind product. The creature's bones were discovered in Kyrgyzstan, Central Asia, in the Madigen Formation. It was just about a foot long. It had four appendages, each with tiny skin flaps that looked like wings. The front limbs were short, but the back limbs were much longer. Some speculate that Charovipteryx was able to leap with ease because of its design. Its means of transportation, according to paleontologists, was more similar to gliding than the actual flight. Casea comes in at number one on our list of most bizarre creatures that once existed. The Caseids were another early reptile group to be discovered. No other reptile alive today resembled the Casea in terms of appearance. Casea's goofy appearance was attributed to its huge pig-like bulk small head, overhanging top jaw with peg-like teeth, and lower jaw with no teeth. Despite their small size, these prehistoric animals possessed massive rib cages and were capable of reaching lengths of four feet. It was during the late Permian epoch when they reached their zenith. Due to its ridiculous appearance, it was named Casea by entomologist and paleontologist Samuel Wendell Williston in 1910, which means cheese in Greek. And that's all for today's video. Let us know which creature amazed you the most in the comment section below. I hope that you find this video helpful. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the next video with some more interesting stories and facts, and until then, stay tuned to Wildest Nature.